quick check is the easiest mode to run in the ball bar software and it's the most commonly used go to all programs Renishaw ball bar five quick check run a ball bar test here you can select the machine type we're going to be running a vertical machining center select the test plane we're going to run xy plane we're going to enter in our feed rate of 3000 millimeters a minute we have a choice here of selecting the, to use the calibrator or not. This is not required for the test, but by checking this and setting the ball bar length prior to the test, we do gain valuable diagnostic information. Click this box. Enter in here the coefficient of expansion for your machine tool. As we stated earlier, contact your machine tool builder to get the exact number, but a close approximation would be 11.7 parts per million per degree Celsius. We're going to use 150 millimeter length for our test. We can enter in test details, which is the location of the test that we're running. We'll enter in top of vice. This is a single spindle machine, so we're not going to change this setting. Let's move forward. Here we can set up the axis nomenclature to make sure that it corresponds to the machine that we're using. Select the axis labels. We're going to set up data capture of a 360 degree data capture and 180 degree overshoot. The overshoot is the travel that the machine moves through prior to collecting data and after collecting data. We can adjust this using the configuration tool if one of the selections don't fit our need. We need to run two runs, one clockwise and counterclockwise, in order to get the full diagnostic benefit of the ball bar. For our test, we're going to run a GO3 followed by a GO2 run. At this point, we can simulate our test If all that looks correct to us, we can go ahead and generate a part program. If you already have a part program, you can skip this step. So now we're going to generate a part program. Select GO2. At this point, you can specify the controller that you're going to create the program for. If you don't see your particular control listed, that's okay. We can modify one of these for your particular controller. We're going to select Generic. Configure the controller. And we can make changes here to the program generator. We're going to change our metric heading from G71 to G21 for this particular machine and remove a couple of extra commands. We'll save this one under the name test. When we're done with this, click the back arrow. We can review our test setup, X, Y, plane, third axis is Z, test radius 150 millimeter, feed rate, counterclockwise direction, clockwise direction, test run. We'll enter in a program number that we've already determined to be available on the machine. Be, be sure to select enter there. Click on the green arrow to generate the program. You can see the warning text. And then the program, please review the program to make sure that it's appropriate for your machine. One thing I want to bring to your attention is after the initial commands in the program, you will see an M00. At that point, notice that the ball bar is at its fully extended range. This instructs the computer to know that the ball bar is not sending data and it's waiting for the initial in feed before it starts to capture data from the ball bar. Once we hit cycle start, the first feed moves into the measurement range of the ball bar. We continue counterclockwise through a GO3 move. The first 180 degrees of that is thrown out to make sure that we're up to full constant velocity. We continue 360 degrees of data capture and the last 180 degrees is thrown out as well. The last move is the feed out, which stops the data capture of the counterclockwise direction move. We pause and the first feed in instructs the computer to start collecting data again and the process continues for the second run in the clockwise direction. The last feed out stops the data capture. Now we're going to save this program to a suitable device for transfer to the machine tool. Select save. In this case we're going to use a USB device. We'll select that. We can rename the program whatever we would like. In this case, we'll use a simple 1100 for reference. 
save. And at that point, we can go back from the program generator. We don't need to save the program again because we've already stored it on our USB device. We can continue on to the summary page where we can enter in the operator and any pretest comments. Before we continue from this point, we will need to connect the ball bar to our computer.